Hello, Maurice here. Uh, by request, uh, we will look a little bit on the voltage divider. So, a voltage divider is very simple to resistors in series. Uh, so, we have some kind of voltage source, say a cell. Uh, say this has a voltage uh, V, uh, say V0, or V in, and it's connected to two resistors in series. And what we are interested in is the voltage coming out of this, say we call that, say this is R1 and this is R2. So we can call this V1 or V out. <coughs> and in this case, we uh, say so we know this, and we know the two resistor values, and our goal is to find what is the voltage that gets out from this. Okay, so first what we can do is of course calculate the total resistance. So R equals to R1 plus R2, right? And if we know the total resistance here and we know the voltage by Ohm's law, right? So R equals V over I or I equals to V over R, we can f calculate the current going through this divider. And by the way, we assume that the load, uh, the, the, what we connect here, is basically just a voltmeter or something that takes very little current. So we assume no current is going out this way. Okay, so we can calculate uh, the current here as the voltage we have, so that is V0 divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2. And now when we know uh, the current, we can of course, if we know the current going through this R1, we can calculate the voltage drop of that one. So of course we take our formula there again, so the voltage equals to R times I. This is basically all the forms we have then of Ohm's law. We now use this one and we can see that our voltage out, say V1, equals to our resistance uh, over this one, so that is R1, times the current that is V0 over R1 plus R2. This is a bit ugly form to have it in. Usually we rewrite that like this instead. V1 equals to uh, V0 R1 over R1 plus R2. So this would be the formula that we can use to calculate that this uh, voltage there. What is important to realize is that this is a question of proportionality. Uh, we have that the voltage uh, out divided by the voltage in. You can see here if I divide down this here I will get the resistance 1 over the resistance this resistance right that is resistance in total. So the how we split how we divide the voltage uh, is proportional to the how much of this resistance is compared to the whole thing so it's just a question of proportionality okay let's look at a little example here and we can see that we can quite often solve this without having to resort to the formula at all okay so say we have a battery here or a cell it actually be a battery 12 volts uh, and we connect that to so I draw a symbol as a battery here. We connect, connect that to two resistors, say 100 ohms and 200 ohms. Here's the output. And we want to know the voltage across here. So we can use our formula. 
this is v1 and this is v0 right so if v1 equals to 12 times 200 this is the resistor we are interested in that's the voltage we're interested in over that so 200 divided by 200 plus 100 or 200 divided by uh, 300 or two-thirds of 12 volts wait sorry I forgot something here I forgot 12 and two-thirds of uh, 12 volts right 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 times 2 is so we get 8 volts here and the rest of it is one third of 12 that's the 4 volts so 4 plus 8 and that is how we can think about problems like this if these happen to be numbers close uh, that you can easily divide we can see that in total we have one two three hundred ohms so this is two-thirds of the resistance and that is one-third of the resistance okay and the voltage is proportional to how, much, how big part of the total resistance we have so one-third of 12 gives us four volts and two-thirds of 12 that is the rest that will give us eight volts so we can think about that in that way without having to resort to the formula. Hope that makes sense. In reality, quite often, uh, voltage divider are realized using something something called a potentiometer. That is a really bad name because this is not a meter. I would call possibly uh, potential dividers or something like that. Um, so what we have in practice is inside some kind of box you have some kind of path of some resistive material it's not straight like this usually there actually sometimes sometimes it is uh, and on that we can have some kind of slider of metal that can slide up and down this and that will cause this to be some resistance that be something else and that will make now a pot potential divider so and in we will draw a symbol for this and the symbol for this is a resistor and then we put a little arrow and the wire and wire sticking out there so this is the the symbol for the potentiometer and we get from this one that v out the voltage across here equals the voltage in times the resistance over this part so to speak let's call that r1 divided by the total resistance uh, of the potentiometer we will i will make another video where i show this in practice and how potentiometers actually uh, could look like hope this helped a bit thank you